Math 5 Quarter 1 Week 8 Lesson 1 Milk Base Let's learn about Visualization of Division of Fraction Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, we will discuss about visualization of division of fraction. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Visualize division of fraction Fraction are well understood if it's represented by a circle or rectangular shape. It is easier to visualize such as halves, thirds, and quarter, or those denominators that has more factors such as eighths and twelfths. Using fraction strip, it will help you visualize fractions. Study the example below. One eighth, and this is the model for this fraction. This rectangular shape is divided into eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One eighth. The denominator 8 is represented as the number of divided parts, and the numerator 1 is represented as a part taken. Shade one part to illustrate 1 8. 1 8 divided by 2. 1 8 divided by 2 is how many? Let's see. The reciprocal of 2 is 1 half instead of 2 over 1. Multiply it to 1 8. 1 8 times 1 half equals 1 over 16. 1 times 1 equals 1 and 8 times 2 equals 16. Therefore, 1 8 divided by 2 is 1 over 16. Let's check. 1 over 16, multiply it to 2, equals 2 over 16. How do we get that? 1 times 2 equals 2. And 16 times 1, for 2 is over 1, so 16 times 1 equals 16. Therefore, the answer is 2 over 16. The GCF of 2 and 16 is 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. Therefore, the lowest term is 1 over 8. 1 eighth. Another example. 1 half divided by 5. The model for 1 half is this. So 1 whole divided by 2 is 1 half. Shade 1 part of this to represent the numerator 1. So this 1 half is divided into 5. Now, the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth instead of 5 over 1. Multiply it to 1 half. 1 half times 1 fifth. 1 times 1 equals 1, then 2 times 5 equals 10. The answer is 1 ten. Therefore, 1 half divided by 5 equals 1 tenth. To check the answer, 1 half times 5 equals 5 over 10. How do we get that? 1 times 5 equals 5, then 2 times 5 equals 10. And then get the lowest term. The lowest term is... 1 half. Let us read and analyze the given problem. Daimler walks home after school, then suddenly, he passed by a chunk of wood. An idea popped up to his mind and wanted to share it to her sister. He brought it home and chopped the chunk of wood equally. Now, for learning task 1, answer the given questions. Number 1. Have you experienced sharing? What did you share? My answer is, Yes, I shared many things. Second question, 
What did you feel? My answer is, I feel happy. Third question. In the given word problem, what has been divided? The answer is, chunk of wood. Fourth question. What is asked in the problem? The number of pieces of wood he would divide it. And number five, write your answer using fraction strip. So for example, this is a model of a chunk of wood divided into two. So one half for Daimler and one half for his sister. Now let's move to learning task two. Do what is necessary. Write your observation. Number one, take two identical pieces of paper and fold one piece into two equal parts. Each part of paper is one half. Number two, divide one of the two parts into three equal parts. Color one small part in red. The red part is one half divided by three or one third of one half. Let's see. One half divided by three or the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third instead of 3 over 1. Multiply it to 1 half. 1 half times 1 third equals 1 over 6 or 1 six. 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 3 equals 6. Therefore, the red part is 1 sixth. Number 3. Take the second piece of paper. Fold it into 3 equal parts. Each part is one-third. Number four, then fold one of the three parts into two equal parts. Color one small part in green. The green part is one-third divided by two or one-half of one-third. One-third divided by two equals one-six. Now, let's move to learning task three. Write each of the following as a fraction. Model the fraction and solve. Number 1, 3 divided by 12. This is the model. 3 rectangular shape, divide each shape into 12, like this. Now, get the reciprocal of 12, then multiply to 3. 3 times 1 over 12, instead of 12 over 1, equals 3 times 1 equals 3, then just copy the denominator 12. So 3 over 12. And then, get the lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 3 and 12. The GCF of 3 and 12 is 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1 and 12 divided by 3 equals 4. The answer is 1 fourth. Number 2. 6 divided by 10. Use model for this. 6 rectangular shape and divide each shape into 10. So the result is 1 tenths. Then, 6 multiply to 1 tenths equals 6 over 10. 6 times 1 equals 6, then copy the denominator 10. Now, get the lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 6 and 10. The GCF is 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Then 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Therefore, the answer is 3 over 5 or 3 fifth. Number 3. 7 divided by 14. Use model for this. 7 rectangular shape and divide each shape into 14. So the result is 1 over 14. Now, multiply 7 times 1 over 14. 7 times 1 equals 7. Then copy the denominator 14. The answer is 7 over 14. Now get the lowest term. Find the GCF of 7 and 14. The GCF is 7. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. And 14 divided by 7 equals 2. So the answer is 1 half. Number 4. 10 divided by 12. This is the model. 10 rectangular shape, and each shape is divided into 12. So the result is 1 12. Then, multiply 10 times 1 12. 
10 times 1 equals 10, then copy the denominator, 12. The answer is 10 over 12. Then get the lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 10 and 12. The GCF is 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5 and 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Therefore, the answer is 5 over 6. Number 5. 2 divided by 4. This is the model. 2 rectangular shape divided into 4. The result is 1 fourth. 2 times 1 fourth equals 2 fourth. The lowest term of 2 fourth is 1 half. Number 6. 4 divided by 16. 4 rectangular shape and divide each shape into 16. The result is 1 16. So 4 times 1 over 16 equals 4 over 16. Now, get the lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 4 and 16. The GCF is 4. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. And 16 divided by 4 equals 4. The answer is 1 fourth. Number 7. 3 divided by 24. So 3 times 1 over 24 equals 3 over 24. Then get the lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 3 and 24. The GCF of 3 and 24 is 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1, then 24 divided by 3 equals 8. The answer is 1 8. Number 8. 18 divided by 54. 18 times 1 over 54 equals 18 over 54. Then get the lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 18 and 54. The GCF of 18 and 54 is 18. 18 divided by 18 equals 1. And 54 divided by 18 equals 3. The answer is 1 third. Remember, fractions are a way to represent parts of a whole. It is written in A over V. The denominator B is the number of equal parts the whole has been divided into. And the numerator A indicates how many parts are included. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!